Oh, I was just looking. Do you want some? Well, I can't eat that because it's probably not gluten free. It is. It's a. Uh, I think it is. Hundred percent flourless. It's all grain. But I, I'm not like a big grapes person. But let me read. Sprouted grain tortillas are inspired by the Holy Scripture verse. Take See, also unto the thee thing. wheat and barley. Oh, it, it says it right there. Wheat what? and barley? Mm -hmm. But why does it say flourless? I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm looking, I'm looking. Organic, nope, has organic sprouted wheat. Not gluten free. Oh, okay. But that's okay. Well, Looks delicious. When you're done. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Mary's going to translate coffee talk into Spanish, so everything oh I God. say. <laughs> <laughs> now for the chola portion. Did I miss why your forehead is black? Today is Ash Wednesday, and I went to church at 6 o'clock this morning. Good morning from downtown LA. Um, I am, uh, Mary and I are just uh, here. We just came from church and we got our ashes and DVV. We got our ashes and uh, then we went to Starbucks. I wish my hair looked like a mono like that, but it doesn't. So annoying. How'd you make those eggs so quick? I'm cool like that. Did you just say I'm cool like that? Dork. Um, so anyway, we went to um, church and it's like a little bit conflicting for me because it says the, 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 pre the priest was talking about um, how you're supposed to go and pray to God and not be boastful. Like, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. And like, don't go out into the streets and like pray so people can see you. You're supposed to like have a pr private relationship with God. But in the same token, you're supposed to spread the word of God. So which is it? You want me to spread the word of God and talk about my relationship with him? Or you want me to have a private relationship with him where I pray in private, private? It's a little confusing. It's not clear. Um, but anyway, so I am, so th this morning starts at, you know, Ash Wednesday starts Lent season. And Lent is all about fasting. Fasting from certain vices that you have perhaps, you know, things that can bring you closer to God. Um, it doesn't have to be like giving up coffee or giving up sugar. It could be uh, fasting from negative self-talk, fasting from gossiping about other people, fasting from trying to beat up the person in the parking garage at the church. <laughs> she was mean. We literally come out of church with ashes on our head, literally just like basking in the love of our Lord. And Mary's like, I'm about to whoop this. I'm like, whoa, okay. Um, Um, mm, so anyway, I'm going to try not to let people's comments hurt my feelings today. So one of the things that I want to really try to do this Lent season is be more purposeful. Um, it's not that I don't think before I speak or think before I act because I do, but I don't really, I'm not purposeful, like truly purposeful. Like why am I like really putting purpose behind the things that I do. And I'd like to be more purposeful. I'd also like to stop ghosting people. I have used ghosting people as a method of self-preservation for a very long time. And typically when someone hurts me or wrongs me, I just cut them off and I don't talk to them. Um, and I, there's no growth there. And when you're not growing, you're dying. <laughs> And so I need to like force myself to have uncomfortable conversations with people that I don't want to have instead of just avoiding them completely. Um, so I'd like to do that. Uh, additionally, um, I'm going to try to stop cursing, but I, 
Um, but I probably will fail miserably, but I'm going to try. And also, one of the things that I'm going to do is be purposeful with my diet in that I'm going to try, try to eat foods in their natural state, as close to their natural state as possible. Um, because I have become a, a consumer of convenience and I eat things that are convenient. And a lot of it is processed just because it says protein doesn't mean it isn't processed. And people eat like a ton of processed crap under the guise of like, it's a protein cookie, it's a whatever, and it's just crap. So I'd like to try to eat with purpose and eat food as close to its natural state uh, as I can. So I'm gonna see. Um, and all around, like, just really want to try to encourage people to forge their own relationships with God. Um, because I have a lot of friends who are, like, God curious, you know? And we love you too, Jennifer. Um, and I think that, um, God curious is a really cool place to be because I was there for a long time, you know? Um, and then you, I don't know, Michael like gives up alcohol, he gives up sugar, he gives up like everything, not me. First of all, I'm not giving up alcohol. Jesus drank wine. In fact, he wanted wine so bad he turned water into wine, okay? Um, so I'm going to take a Q-tip and clean up my ashes just slightly because it looks like somebody just sneezed a thumbprint of ashes on my head. I'd like it to look a little bit more like a cross maybe, but, um, anyway, this is just, you know, for me. And if anyone is God curious, you can come along on this journey with me. And if you don't celebrate Lent or Ash Wednesday or whatever, you can still just be awesome with us and we'll all be awesome together. Um, all right. So, Penny Parks goes, it looks like a moth, not ashes. Thanks, Penny. <laughs> In Jesus' name, amen. amen. <laughs> uh, oh, you're not supposed to edit your ashes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Who said? Where did I don't say? know. Someone said that. I could ask Bobby. Father Bob, help. Father Bob, is it okay if I take a Q-tip and edit my ashes a little bit? <laughs> Jesus didn't get drunk, let's be honest, though. Do you know, do you know Jesus? Does he call you at home? Um, no, seriously. I love you guys, and I want you to have a great day and know that I prayed for you at church. And I don't think you are. Okay, everyone's saying you're not supposed to edit your ashes. Crapola. Mm. You're supposed to keep it the way it was put on until nighttime. I'm a progressive Catholic. So I'm going to edit my ashes. Oh, Lord. All right, well, fine. Then I'll leave my ashes. I think, come on, guys. This is serious. People are going to be like, woo, oh, don't touch them until bedtime. Fine. Fine. Um, all right. Well, I, I didn't go to my church, obviously, because I'm in, uh, I'm in um, Los Angeles and Father Bob is in Alabama. So, um, all right. I love you guys. I love you. Have a great day great 